The top game this weekend happens in the SEC down in Tuscaloosa. It's the third edition of the Saban Bowl. Uh, but the fact that Nick Saban used to coach LSU really isn't a big deal anymore. Um, the, what's, what, the big news is happening on the field, and it's number three Alabama against number nine LSU. Uh, the Crimson Tide can clinch the SEC West with a victory and a spot in the SEC championship game. But if LSU wins, the Tigers take control of the SEC West and would be able to get to the SEC championship game by running the table. So an upset by LSU would really throw a wrinkle into the plans, national championship plans of the Crimson Tide. You have two of the nation's top defenses and two first-year starting quarterbacks who have struggled. Jordan Jefferson on the LSU side has been a little better lately, showing some signs of progress. Alabama's first-year starter, Greg McElroy, has struggled lately. He hasn't gone over 150 yards passing in any of the last four games. Alabama has relied on the running of Mark Ingram and one of the best defenses in the country to stay undefeated. In the Big Ten over in Happy Valley, it'll be number 15 Ohio State visiting number 11 Penn State. A lot of talk in the Big Ten has been about undefeated Iowa, but Penn State and Ohio State are still very much in the Big Ten race. Uh, two of the best defenses in the country, uh, one good offense, one not so good offense. On the, on the good side, Penn State's offense has really been clicking lately. Their line has gelled. Um, quarterback Darrell Clark has played very well lately, and running back Evan Royster has given them some good balance on the ground. On, on the Buckeyes' side, they're still trying to find themselves offensively with Terrell Pryor. Played better last week, but that was against New Mexico. Uh, however, again, the Buckeyes win this game and beat Iowa the, the week after. They'd win the Big Ten and go on and play the Rose Bowl. Uh, for Penn State, again, still with some Big Ten championship implications there. But it's always tough winning in Happy Valley, uh, and Penn State's the more balanced team. In the Big East, another undefeated team. Number four ranked Cincinnati. Uh, the Bearcats get into the tough part of their schedule starting with UConn this week. Uh, the Huskies have had a, a tough go the last few weeks with, after the death of their starting cornerback Jasper Howard who was killed at a dance on campus. They lost two tough games both in the waning moments. For Cincinnati, we're thinking national championship picture here. The Bearcats are 8-0. They have a high-powered offense that this week will most likely be led again by backup quarterback Zach Caleros, who's filled in admirably for Tony Pike, their starting star, who's been out with an arm injury. <laughs>